Hello guys, today's tutorial is not really new because I have already made a dressing screen before. But since I'm making a new project, I thought to just include this because this one also has a different design. Don't forget to check the materials and pattern link in the description box below. So this is how the pattern looks like and if you look closely, there are two sizes. One is a little bit larger than the other. So what you need to do is to make one set of the larger piece and two sets of the smaller piece. I also added a vintage photo that you can use to decorate the front. You can use cardstock or craft wood for this project. You can also use a cutting machine or hand cut them. I used a simple cutting machine to finish the project faster. To assemble the pieces, I used 6 layers of the main dressing frame and 2 layers for the moldings. Glue the layers together and make sure that they are positioned and aligned correctly. Don't worry if the cardstock will curl. You can straighten it back by putting something heavy like a book on top of it. Be patient in gluing them together. This will give you a neat result. So here are the glued pieces and thankfully, they are aligned nicely. If there are parts that are not aligned, you can use a nail file to sand it and make it even. Next, paint the pieces according to your theme. As for me, I am going to use this shabby chic green as the main color. And then just set them aside and let it dry after painting. Next, I am going to add the crackle effect to the moldings. I just hope that it's going to show once it is dry. The crackle effect has a transparent color, more like a colorless glue. I only used one coat in this project, but you can also use two. After painting, let it completely dry before coating it with the color of your choice. Here is the finished moldings and the cracks doesn't show so much but I hope you can see it. After painting the molding, I used cream and gray acrylic paint to create that antique look. So I basically just give the edges a quick patchy stroke. I started adding gray on the edges, both the inner and the outer edge of the frame. Then, I added the cream acrylic paint, mostly focusing on the outer edge. Align the molding to the main frame and trace the inner side of the molding. This will help you position the image correctly whether you are going to hand paint or simply add a printed image like I did. Now we are ready to add the image. So this is the image that I chose to add and I will simply glue it to the main frame. The next step is to glue the moldings to the frame. The arrangement would be that the longer screen is between the two shorter screen. And then just set them aside after gluing. If you want to add additional ornament on the screen, go ahead and do so. I am going to add this molded rose to each of the screen. I used a chocolate mold and ceramic powder to create this. I also painted it with gold to make the feature more pronounced.
Then I used a wood glue to glue them to the cardstock. To make it foldable, I simply used a washi tape to hold them together. You can of course make hinges or buy the miniature hinges for this. That's it for today guys! A cute French vintage style dressing screen in addition to your miniature project. Stay tuned for more timeless treasure tutorial. Bye bye and see you next week!